Hello fellow simmers and YouTubers. This is BLS, British Locomotive Studios. I'm Samuel Beeman talking and I'm about to show you our latest release for Railworks Train Simulator 2020. Here we have the version one of the Trundley Closed Railway Centre freeware route add-on for the train simulator and we're going to be looking at one of the scenarios on the route and obviously you know um, yeah and just do a little uh, look 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 at the route and what we have created or what I've created well what we have created <laughs> and um, yeah so let's get into it and start it so we're going to be running the class 33 scenario opening event of the locket branch and it has just occurred to me now that the readme file is a little bit wrong on this uh, root release um, so basically firstly first things first two of them two things them I've, I've missed out in the readme firstly you will require you, you require the AP weather enhancement pack and weather and sky enhancement pack I forgot to add that in that is a and one of the essential requirements for scenarios and also you require the DP simulations um, which is the one th which I'm going to be driving now the DP simu simulations class 330 BR green half yellow panel reskin so make sure you have those and I also do apologize for not putting them in the readme file but um, I'm sure there's a way I can rectify that. I'll update the file. Um, yeah, I could pro probably update the file. Um, and yeah, and, and, and yeah, I'll re-upload it. But I'll sort that out. Anyway, let's go into it. So this is the first scenario of the route, the opening event of the Locket Branch in 2015. So basically, this this scenario is based on a real um, a real life uh, event so basically if you search up the official Trundley Close Railway Centre YouTube channel and then um, type in the opening gala event of 2015 which I believe is the 11th of July 2015 you'll see this event and this what this scenario has been created and, and the moment that this scenario is based on um, so we're driving the resident Crompton of the O-Gage line, um, D6506, on a short passenger working from uh, Bovis Junction to Lockett's Memorial. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be interesting. And uh, it's also got, obviously it's got the AP Armstrong Powerhouse sounds applied to the model because, you know, it's, it's, it's the best sort of sounds out there. Mind you, not that the DTG sounds are bad or nothing, and uh, it's quite nice as well, because the BR Blue Pack Class 33 that comes with that still has the default sounds. So basically, um, you can sort of have two different sounding Cromptons, as it were, and, you know, the, not all trains sound the same. That's why it's quite good to have that, really. So I've got to set my audio levels actually. So we're going to turn ourselves down on our game volume slightly. This is uh, because um, we don't we want to hear me talking. Obviously, the loading times for this game is quite slow, and it also has something to do, obviously, probably due to the hard drive I'm using. Uh, this game on but also because you know there is one whole hard drive dedicated to train sim 2020 with all of the content that comes with the game i mean because there is so much for this game the content for it is endless really um but i mean i don't get as much add-ons no more to be honest in the sense of you know because i've got most of the locos i want to drive so yeah So the route has been is it is a work in progress route. So obviously this is version one. Um, oh, we've started up. Good afternoon, driver, and welcome to this opening event of the Locket Branch. For this gala event, we should be taking charge of Class Thirty Three D Six Five O Six on a stopping passenger service to Locket's Memorial via Fisherman's Halt. Open the doors to let our passengers aboard and await the right away from the guard. Okay, so first of all. We've got to open up our doors. We do that by pressing T, and then I believe we wait for our departure. So let's get set up in our cab. Okay, so right, we're not going to use the F4 HUD because I'm not like that. So we're going to put this into forward gear. 
put the loco brake on and now we've just got to wait until we depart okay so this is Bovis Junction let's have a look around the station itself so we've got these nice sort of custom assets made by uh, 3D Sheds uh, Ken, Ken Long so it's a very you know special thanks to him for making these uh, 3D assets like this WH Smith's uh, stool um, obviously you've got Western Lines of Scotland platform numbers just for uh, you know realistic reasons I like doing little details and stuff on the stations like you know flowers and station signs and platforms I will have some custom station signs made for this route by um, Snud Steve Davies who um, is very good at making station signs for stations so eventually these stations will have their own custom signs for them uh, and again we have some custom station shelters here those are also made by Ken Long and as well as the luggage um, trolleys as well obviously a lot of this route the main um, requirement needed is the West Highland Line South no not West Highland Line South West Highland Line extension Fort William to Malag. Um this is for all the track and stuff and you also need the Wherry Lines Armstrong powerhouse route for the signals and stuff like that. You also need Isle of Wight, West Somerset, uh, North Somerset I believe, the Spa Valley Railway freeware route, Lavender Line freeware route, uh, Midland Main Line, Just Trains, uh, Just Trains North Norfolk and Just Trains Mid Hants. So there is a fair bit of requirements and you'll also need the European Asset Pack, Somerset and Dorset route, Great Western, ex yeah, Great Western Railways, uh, Oxford Paddington, um, East Coast uh, Main Line, Newcastle to York, yeah, and that is pretty much the requirements for it. I believe this track is the Midland Main Line, Just Trains track. Um, I mean, don't quote me on that. Oh, also you need Doncaster Works for like obviously the shed area which we can see here with all the broken locos and stuff and stuff that's being restored. So we are back at our train, so what time do we do we reckon we depart? I would say we probably depart five past twelve. So got a little wait until we depart the station. Let's have a look at our, our um, obviously, okay, so, yeah, so we're doing a whole round trip from Bovis Junction and back again. So that's interesting. So as I say, this is a work in progress route. It's, it's going to be in progress for quite some time because there's lots I want to add to it. So this is version one, obviously, which is based on the Locket branch, which is Burbage Junction to um, Locket's Memorial via Fisherman's Halt. Uh, obviously based on the Tr Tr Trundley Close Railway Centre's O-Gage Garden Railway uh, from obviously 2015 until it's been lifted, because it's been lifted recently actually in 2020. Um, because it's going to be rebuilt so obviously once that's rebuilt that technically that section that we're looking at will be long gone and um, the question is will I add the new section in yes I probably will and I'll probably add it to a, another area of the route which is why I have added this turn off here um, so yeah it'll go off to the second oh, we've got the right away so that will go off to the next version of the yoga route anyway so we've got the right of way and uh, we can depart. So off we go. Mm -hmm. I believe I believe this is a 15 mile an hour limit, so we're just gonna Yeah, 15 mile an hour limit in the station area.
I mean, this route is rimming with detail. Uh, it really is. I've done. I put a hell lot of work into doing all of the, uh, the foliage and other bits and pieces. Which, of, of course, you've seen this route. Technically, the full whole preview of this route in our rebuilt Light Pacific uh, digital traction review of the um, of that. So, yeah. So it's basically you know what you're going to be seeing from that really. This is just one of the scenarios that come through. As you can see, we've got loads of different like types of plants and flowers and stuff alongside the line. You need a high-end computer to run this route, that's for sure. Okay. Ten mile an hour limit in Fisherman's Hulk Station platform. Some of the resident locos of the O gauge line. Nice signage, like staff only sections for high, vis high visibility. Little man over there sat on the bench over the lake. Little cameos of staff members doing their bit. Whole stage. We've got the AP Mark II's behind us as well, that's why they've got these opening doors that open randomly and close randomly, it's really clever.
think we're taking our time at Fisherman's Hut here today. Hmm. What time do we depart on this from this station? I have a feeling it'll be quarter past. I tried to make this timetable as like specific as I could. So basically, what, what I did was I tried to make the timings realistic. So you know, it's a 12:05 departure from Bovis Junction, 12:15 departure from Fisherman's Hole, and then it's probably something like I don't know, 12:20, 12:25. Half twelve departure out of um, Lockett's Memorial. You know, it's 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 it's, it's, it's realistic in that sense, I guess. Also, to be fair, in real life, when I did run this gala event on, um, you know, on, on the O okay, gauge, the trains didn't necessarily depart regularly at the stations. They usually had a fair amount of time sat there waiting until departure. So I suppose it is kind of, you know, prototypical to the uh, official real life event. So we have this um, Hudswell Clark, no Hudswell Clark, Hun Hunslet Fitzwilliam masquerading as the Mammoth uh, Diamond Jubilee locomotive that is owned by Chunny Close Railway Centre. Uh, as you can see it's even got Jubilee written on the side so that is what that represents. And then we've got um, this 03 which represents the green 04. And we now have a right away so we get to proceed down to our Lockett's Memorial is the final stop along the locket branch.
Okay, so we're not going to do the full round trip in this video. This is just a purely, just you know, to show it off, I guess. But and to let you know that this this is released because I don't want to be here for. Um... Okay, maybe we can do the full round trip. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, got to drop off. So yeah, it's a fisherman's halt. We depart at twenty five past. So. Quite a quick run round here. Okay, so we've got to drop off our stock now. Brilliant. I didn't do that. Uh, exactly in time as I should have done, but there you go. Manually change your points. Put our headlights on and let's go. Ooh. Here we are. Switch ends again, I'm guessing. Yeah, we're all hitched up. Oh, 
Ooh. Okay. <laughs> well, we are hitched up now. <laughs> Depart when ready to fisherman's out. Okay, let's do it. Switch ends again. Yep. Oh, good. We got the. Oh, uh, yeah, we got requests to pass signal danger approved. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'll pop down there. Look how he's Our 6A head code in there, which is prototypical because the 33 model did have 6A on one end, and on the other end it had the red shunt head codes, well, shunt uh, the rear head codes as it were, on that end. So that I, I made sure that both head codes were prototypical to the event of what the 33 was on. Oh, it looks like we've got the right away. Uh, Mind you, it says that we failed that, uh, probably because we're a bit late arriving, so that section is a bit of a fail there. Oh well. Slight downhill part here, I mean, is as you go out the station, it's a slight gradient down. But um, basically, I made it so it's quite bumpy and upy downy in the station because that's what it was um, on the layout. So. now. 
Now, the only thing I will say about AP's products and sound packs, I, I will admit this. Now, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. The only downside to it is that most of his in cab sounds are too quiet. Now, inside a 33 cab, I know because I've driven a 33, I drove a 33 108 on the Seven Valley Railway. It is noisy, and I mean it is very, very noisy inside a 33 cab. You know, there's rattling, there's there's everything like that, you know. But this, it just lacks that sort of rattly, loud noise. It's just, it's too quiet. It's almost like being inside a modern unit, if anything. Um, that is the only downfall about some of the AP sound products. And it's like that with most of the big diesels, you know, the sound packs. The only thing I will say is, I mean, it sounds like the cab recordings are there, and you can sort of hear it, but it's too quiet. It needs to be raised up, it needs to be a lot louder in the cabs. So, you know, I know AP is the big everything with sound of rail works, you know, for diesels and modern traction, but no, there is... Uh, he, I mean, he started to get better at it on his recent products, such as the... Uh, class 31 enhancement pack and the class 37 enhancement pack those have loud nice you know nicely volumed cab sounds but it's, it's some of his older stuff you know and even on the EPs they are they aren't 100% perfect he needs to sort of work on his cab sounds I think in the means of volume levels but apart from that all the sounds are fantastic you know with the engine down to the engine sounds down to the compressors the horns you know everything But it's just the cab sounds that just lack that bit of realism of loudness. Now we are coming back into our station at Bovis. And this shall end our uh, world video for this scenario look and first look release of version 1 of the Tranley Close Railway Centre. And there we have it. Scenario complete. Bad luck you did not complete the scenario successfully, yes, because there was one thing that I didn't do correct and I believe that was the Fisherman's Halt arrival I was a bit late on the way back. But there you have it folks, that is the video. Thank you for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed uh, watching the first look release of version 1 of the Trundy Clothes Railway Centre and enjoyed me playing this scenario. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and uh, yeah, I'll put the link to the download of the route in the description of the video and I'll make sure to try and get that readme updated. Hey, okay, so thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.